Stack had this uh, command line interface software which I will be using in Linux or in this case I'm using Pirate OS to do a stenography. It's a software that is used for audio and then image technography and then in this case I will be doing the audio technography so I'm having my image over here which I will be embedding within this audio cover file so within my terminal let me have access to the the manual, the user manual of the step height. So this is the user manual of the step height. Giving a description about the software, the developers, and any other writer information about the manual. Here are the commands. So we use the command to embed the extract the information. So whenever you want to embed a secret data in a cover file to create a stable file, you use the keyword embed. And then to extract that stable file, you use the keyword extract. And then whenever you want to access or uh, get information about a file if either if it's having a stable file or a hidden message within it you use the keyword info and then you indicate the name of the file so we're we'll going through all of this name of the software in this case tech hide and then the keyword that we'll be using embed Embed, and then we indicate the cover file using the CF, which stands for cover file. And then the name of the cover file is audio dot. With. Don't forget in the audio or uh, the audio file format, it's the stack height only works with the audio with the extension wave or AU. It doesn't work with the MP3 and any other. Uh, audio file format apart from the dot wave and then the AU which is audio file format and then after that we indicate the embedded file the secret file the secret file and then in this case the secret file is lab my image over here this is the image over here lab dot dpg and then I have to indicate the stego file it's not always uh, required to it's not a requirement or mandatory to indicate the stego file but in the case that you want to give a different name to the stego image you want the, the name of the stego image to be different from the cover file then you indicate the stego file and then uh, the name you want to give to the stego file so in this case, I want to give it my underscore audio and then I have to state the extension to dot wave. So over here, one particular uh, feature of the stack height is it does the encryption in addition to the stenography. It asks cryptography to stenography. So it's, it's it gives you the uh, the chance or the ability to encrypt the data or the file so to in indicate a password to put a password on it you indicate by using the uh, dash p and then you indicate the password one two three four so in, in this case my password is one two three four so in the future time whenever i want to access this particular file i need to indicate decrypt it with the password that has a, a level of security to the hidden file. The file will be hidden and then uh, having an encrypted tool. So in this case, 
uh, after this I will hit the enter so but in the case that I didn't provide a P whenever I hit the enter it will prompt me to uh, put a password so you can skip without the password you can't do the, uh, the steganography using the stack here without the password so in this case so it is, it is loading uh, doing the embedding so you can see the percentage is loading it takes time so depending on the size of the cover file and then the, the size of the embedded file so we are having 98.9 percent and it's still loading okay so embedding the we are able to embed the lab.jpg in the audio dot wave so it's done and then we are having our stego file as my audio dot wave to it down so this is our stego file you can see that it's having a lock how to do we get information about this particular uh, stego file so we use the stack hide info and then we indicate the name of the stego file in this case my underscore audio dot extension with so you hit the uh, enter that is the information about the stego file we have my audio dot wave that is the stego file and the file format is wave audio and then use bcm encoding so this is the capacity of the file we are having one uh, 59.5 kilobyte so try to get information about embedded data yes or no so we want to get information about it so we hit on the yes I hit you on the net yes it's asking us for the passphrase in this case we our passphrase is one two three four so we hit on the enter from the passphrase after entering the passphrase so we are able to get the information about the embedded file so the name of the embedded file is lab.jpg and then the size of the embedded file is 62.5 kilobytes it is encrypted and then it is compressed so we need to extract that embedded file extracting the embedded file we use the keyword extract so let's take the software stack hide extract and then the we state the stable file sf the stable file to be sf So you can realize that the, it is extracted and this is the data over here and still having a pass uh, padlock because it's password protected so this data is ex extracted and it's protected so until you provide the encryption key which is the pa password we put on it you'll not be able to access the uh, image over here after being extracted so the uh, stack hide adds another level of security which is the uh, encryption to the hidden data such that even if uh, an authorized user uh, managed to get access to it he need to decrypt it before he or she can access it so it's it's, it's somehow secure uh, as in the combining two security mechanisms that is the technography and then the uh, cryptography all in one so this is all about the stack hide and then you can use it to uh, do image technography and it only follows the same way whenever you are doing it make sure you get the extension right and then the name right and then uh, you can use the manual the user manual to have access or to get more information about how to use the software thank you